this afternoon. We've got a lovely day here in Manila. Uh, the sun is out, not a cloud in the sky. It's the 30th of January uh, 2013 and I'm giving you an update on my aquaponic system. A few things have happened since our last, uh, my last video. So if we have a look in here, you can see that I've got a, quite a, a, a few new fish. There's some quite large ones there that are about uh, the size of a koi, to be, to be honest with you. Um, quite a few, I just took some out to put in my front aquaponic system, so they're a little bit down, but I'll, I'll get some more soon. When I added the bigger fish, I added more water, uh, which actually upset the whole equilibrium of the, of the um, system. So I added uh, two valves, you can see there, one red one there on that side and the other tub uh, over there. That's so I can regulate the water flow because the bell siphons were cutting off um, since I added more water. Um, so I just added uh, a couple of little attachments, they cost me 100 pesos each, uh, it's about $2.50 Australian. Um, when I was playing around with it, I also added a, uh, a snorkel. I don't know if you can see that there. Uh, I tore the bell siphons because I just couldn't get this one to cut off whatever I was doing. I, I put, as you can see, I put some quite large holes in there. Uh, it still wasn't cutting off. So I added the siphon and then, uh, sorry, the, uh, the snorkel. And um, it's actually cutting off okay now. I'll just put the lid back on there without reading these letters. So as you can see the tomato plants have really um, got a lot of growth quite high. Um, it's quite windy today. Had to stake them down. So you can see the stake on that side there. Uh, and there's a stake in the middle in there with a, with a bit of a wire, a uh, couple of insulated wire going right across and then I'll just tie them up with a little bit of uh, organic type of string material. As you can see the, the growth is normal. I'll stand back a bit and uh, try to get a wide view. Yeah. I don't know at the start of December, so December and January, we've had two months now. So I put, a couple of days ago I put these blue marks on it, just to see how much it grew, and it grew that much in two days. Um, it didn't seem like that long ago, but have a look at the fans, it's actually up to there now. Where's my hand? Up to there now, yeah. So, the rate of growth is pretty pretty big. Um, I'll just go to the close up view here, see if you can see these little uh, looks like flowers coming through. So, the start of the, the production of the tomatoes, hopefully. Well, only a couple of the plants seem to happen, so, uh, all of them there. so here's my little, my little bell pepper. Tomato plants. Um, lettuce, not much to write home about. All over the ground. Just, yeah, I should put them out, I guess. Um, a couple of things I probably would have done differently. We would have painted the outside of the tubs uh, to stop the algae. Well, the algae doesn't really harm anything. What it, it has the effect of um, uh, I'll take nutrients away from the, from the plants. It needs nutrients as well, obviously. Uh, a few squiggly lines uh, over some of the pants. Wasn't quite sure what it was. I seem to be uh, for a week or so. Um, but all the new ones seem to be okay, so I'm not sure what that was. Maybe just a bug or something like that. But yeah, I just wanted to, to show you the, the whole system. I'm really happy with my first aquaponics attempt. Getting a lot of growth here.
Is that the pumpkin right there? Is that the pumpkin? I've got the dinner the other night and threw a seed in. Then it uh, sprouted. Um, sound okay, there's another one out the front that I um, transplanted from the system. Okay, well, thanks for having a look.